my poor husband can relate to this. Chasing tail, good. Oh, big mama's got a boyfriend. Atta girl. Well, how was it? Everything you'd hope? That is my seat. Now one of my spinners is spinning. YouTube is not gonna like me today. YouTube is not gonna like me today. I don't even know where to hold the camera. There is a lot of action happening today. I will do my best to show, censor what I show, because uh, YouTube does not like any content that may show what animals do when they're in heat. They're allowing me to show lambing now, but they still don't allow to show how lambs are made. Anyway, nice to see some action today, this being day one. The only pen I'm a little concerned on is this young ram pen, the new ones I got from Romy. So I'm just going to take a few minutes here and see if there's uh, any action. So if you remember, uh, for any new rams, young rams that have never bred before, I actually put mature ewes in with them. So these guys, these ewes should know what they're doing. They've all been bred before and had babies before. And they seem to know what's going on, these boys. Got some lip curling action. Oh, there's some running. That's good. Chasing tail, good. What you'll see, these guys, so it's been a good 24 hours now, so they're just nicely coming into a standing heat, and that's kind of what you want. You want the U to be standing. Uh, sometimes it can be in an early heat, but running, so the rams know that they're coming into heat and they'll chase them. But until they're in a standing heat, they're not really accept, they won't accept the ram mounting them, they'll just run around. So this is actually what you kind of want to see. She's just relaxed and like, whatever, get it over with. But this little you, so those boys know she's coming into heat, they're gonna fight and do the thing. But she's not standing for them yet, but in a few hours she may. been busy there is no paint left on her back end it is gone is that cinnamon I think it is cinny it is cinny cinny goodness gracious look at you go gonna make mommy yeah. some babies good girl what are you two doing get up get up my poor husband can relate to this. Hello. Hi. No, just don't worry about me. Yes, you're a king. Yes. Go, go get her. Yeah. It's been a hard day's night. Your horn's still attached. That's good. Thought I better check on Big Mama. She's sitting here. What are you doing? You don't look very active. <laughs> I mean, I get it. Oh, it's a little smeared. Have you been busy?
Good morning. Another day, another lover report. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of smearing going on. You guys, it looks like Smurf Village in here. Her whole back end is blue. Good to see. What are you saying, Billy? What are you doing? Oh. Big Mama. I think you've been bred a lot. That's a lot of smearing. You. <laughs> you have been busy. Look at that booty. Big mama. I've lovingly called one of my Tunis boys. Well, I've named them both. I named the one with the big, what the heck is this called? Like a waddle? He's right here. He's so cute, he's my favorite. So I named him Ed Sheeran. So that's, say hello to Edward. That is Edward. The other redhead Tunis that I have is Prince Harry because he's very handsome. He doesn't seem to have any problems with um, personal space. He's lovely. So yeah, those are my redheads, my two resident redheads. The Dorsets are kicking butt and taking names. Lots of orange on their on their briskets, which means they're rubbing, rubbing and racing, which is what I want to see. Some farmers use a marking harness, uh, so they'll put like a there's a strap that will go on the rams, and it's got like a big crayon here. And uh, I've, I used that my first year in sheep farming when I only had a few rams, and it was okay. I found I was changing the crayon a lot. And for how many rams I'm running right now, I'm like, I don't want to take them out, re-change the crayon. I'm not sure how long they last. It didn't seem like they lasted that long the first year I had them. Now, whether that was the brand that I had, maybe. Um, and then I think in the UK, they have another, like a oil-based something that they use. Like, no paint. Gone. Gone. Uh, a few things about rams that uh, people have asked me that I found really, really interesting about sheep breeding in general. Rams don't have to mount very long. They're like up, do their business, and off real fast. Like it's lightning quick. I believe I remember in my Master Shepherds program, they said the one thing about uh, breeding your sheep naturally, so letting rams breed your ewes instead of using artificial insemination. Artificial insemination is a bit tricky in sheep because it's, most of the time it's done surgically. So it's quite a process, you need a vet to do it. We typically still breed sheep naturally because they have a pretty complicated cervix, uh, the ewes. So the way I was described, it said, if you put a bunch of flexible funnels all in together, that's really what the ram has to navigate into. There's breeding going on all over the place. I'm so distracted. So they say the velocity of the ram's um, eject button, shall we say, is very fast. Like it's got super velocity and they also have very super concentrated semen. Uh, so it doesn't look like they are doing it very long, uh, but they're very effective. It is crazy town in here today. Oh, Big Mama's got a boyfriend. Oh, look at you. Hey, you stay with her. Don't you be cheating on Big Mama. Oh, it's okay, Big Mama. He'll come back. Not a very nice dude. Yes, go back. Yeah, there she is. You stay there. It's your woman.
Ew. Dirty job. Where's Mike Rowe? Where is Mike Rowe? Now it's official. Hey, buggy driver. Good morning. We are hoping to get out wheat today and uh, had a pretty late night last night. My oldest niece got married uh, yesterday. So congratulations, Ashley and Sheldon. I have a little bit of footage from last night. <laughs> you already know it's the shoe game. Right, Sheldon, if it's Ashley, you raise your boot. And if it's you, you raise your shoe. So who's the better cook? You can't say anything, you just gotta put the shoe up. Yeah, but you've talked. You, you know, no talking. No talking. <laughs> Who's smarter? <laughs> Who runs the ex excavator better? <laughs> I think we're home by midnight so it wasn't too bad but before the day gets going i am out of food and we've got a hungry family of four that is going to be in the fields for until we get rained out so i have to make sure <laughs> we have food so we're not driving to mcdonald's every day that's the goal oh Well, we are officially on to day three of this breeding group. We put in the rams Thursday. They really didn't start breeding till Friday today. So they had all day Friday, all day yesterday. And today it looks like they've slowed up. Unless I've just missed their golden hour. Big Mama is looking like there was a lot of smearing going on. Hi, gorgeous. How does she know I'm talking to her? How do you know I'm talking to you? Well, how was it? Everything you'd hoped? There's quite a bit of smearing going on on a lot of them. Not this one though. And see how the new boys are doing over here. Ooh, lots of smearing. Smeared, 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 kind of smear. Wow. Good boys. What about you, Ed Sheeran? Do you have any orange on your brisket? Oh, yeah. Oh, good boy. I was concerned about you. But there's some down there. Yes, there is. Good boy. If today is kind of the day it's slowing up, I think, you know, for the first go around, I think we did pretty good. Basically, they're going to be left in for 21 days. That'll hit hit two of their cycles and then um, I'll find out about six weeks after that how many are actually pregnant. Salutations. How are you, a little messy? Living, breathing. <laughs> well, it is that time. We're just waiting for Jeremy. He should be here in 10 minutes. We just got the head on the combine and we're gonna nose into some wheat. The sexy Lexi. Ooh, yes. Get it. <laughs> no weird up there. Come on. So it begins. I'm a little scared that it doesn't start showing any bushels in its tank yet. 98! Holy! What's Andre doing over there? 100! 102! Good yields. 23.5% moisture though. Oh my god, that's wet. 
skirt, skirt. I'll let you know. Town's weight might be the reason he hasn't sold. Yeah, it probably is actually. I'm impressed though, already. There we go, he's got his height better now. Yeah, it does look better now. That is my seat. Run along. Your seat. Thank you. My seat. No! <laughs> Listen. You are so needy. On your seat. On your seat. Stay there. Sit. Sit. Thank you. Everything's going good. The straw, the, the the moisture on this grain is like 19.3, so it's still pretty wet. We're running everything through the dryer. We need to start. We've got too many acres to just sit here. Uh, we got quite a bit of wheat leaning or down, um, so every big potential of rain could mean a huge potential for grain sprouting for this wheat to sprout. I think so far we've been good. I don't think he's seen too much sprouting. Uh, but you can get into real quality issues the longer you wait. We're taking every opportunity we possibly can when the, when the ground is fit to rip this stuff off and just run it through the dryer. That's why we have this whole system. Everything's cleaned up and ready to go. And we, Jack and I just ran two wagons through. So everything's good. Now it's just harvest full go. And I suppose she's my, she's gonna be my tractor buddy because I don't trust her around this equipment and I don't want to see her in the house all day, so. She's good when she's on this seat and I get off and on the tractor at the elevator, she just she sits on my seat and watches me, so she doesn't even try to come down, which is good. I'd rather her up here than uh, underneath a tire. I mean it's air conditioned. She's not a she's not a dumb dog. Is everything okay, Jess? I don't know. <laughs> no, one of my spinners is spinning. No big deal. No, it's just a bit. Uh -huh. Well, it's nice to see them together. We are emptying our second buggy. And already, my passenger is out. Just pulled up to the elevator and Jack put a light in here. So when it goes red, I stop. All right, we just have to start the, the pit. This is the pit. So that's on and then we turn on the leg. That is the leg or the elevator if you will. So there's like literally little buckets that carry the grain all the way to the top. And then when I press that, it's gonna get everything going. When the grain gets to the top, it actually diverts down here. And that's our overhead bin. And from there, or the overhead is also called a wet bin. And from there, it's gonna go into the dryer. And we're gonna dry wheat probably tonight. take a moisture test. This is our moisture tester that we bought last year. It's awesome. Sorry, just fill the top. Soft red wheat. Go. That will drop in. There we go. Okay, so it's come down a bit in moisture, which is good. We write it all on a spreadsheet here. Yeah, so the first two loads, 19.3, 19.6, wet. And we're down to 17.4 already in like an hour. We're sitting in at around 10 after five Sunday night. There's enough new people here to the channel since last summer, so I thought I'd better just give a brief 
kind of outline overview of the farm 95% of my time is and always will be with the sheep this time of the year till right up till Ooh, and in November, uh, just depending on harvest, I do give Mark quite a bit of my time for either running wagons or running the buggy, just depending on how much help we have around the, around the grain farm. So as for the grain operation, we run about 1,700 to 1,800 acres of grain. So uh, winter wheat, we do hay, which you've already seen, field corn and soybeans and the rest of the beans are like a white bean, so an edible, edible bean. And then uh, this year and last year, we've also added winter canola to our rotation. So that's kind of an overview of what we do. Uh, Mark, definitely his time is spent on organizing that side of our, our business, plus all the marketing, all the talking to suppliers and equipment and maintenance and all that stuff. So he is very, very busy on that side. I am very busy on the sheep side. We're a pretty good example of a lot of farms here in Ontario. We're we can be very diversified so a lot of farms in Ontario have livestock and crops and uh, we do that really to, to manage risk just because as you guys have witnessed mother nature oh, up there, yes. mother nature can be a real brute for um, risk I want to take a quick couple seconds and show you what down wheat looks like this is the farm with a really big hollow and it actually stretches over three full fields here you can see all this down wheat and it literally goes way over into that field there so that's why we want to get this one off as pretty much as quick as we can it's not down down mark said it's not to the ground which is nice so it's easy to lift up um, but as more rain comes it it just keeps pressing that wheat closer and closer to the ground and that's when you're going to get spoiled grain Serene. Your lights look pretty cool. 